Hold on this. So good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Hang on, Tai Chi Improvers. No, I still haven't got that right, have I? Hang on. There we are. Marvellous. Okay. So we're going to start off with some loosening. And then I think we've been looking at um, this year, we're, we're looking at the second half of the form and slowly working our way backwards. But um, yeah, just have the feet parallel. So you can see my you can see my feet and just draw the chin in slightly, float up with the head and sink the hips back and down. Relax the shoulders, breathe in and out. <clears throat> So we'll just start with some breathing. So just gently breathe in and gently breathe out. So sink the hips. Notice the contact with the feet. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to very gently transfer the weight. So we're going about 60%, 40% and transfer the weight. So you want to feel the feet. You can wiggle the toes a bit while you're doing this just to get the toes. Wig, uh, do that with the toes. And then once you've done that, settle and just allow, just notice the sensation of contact. Uh, through the feet. Just gently breathe in and gently breathe out. So, Relax around the jaw. Come back to the middle. And then just very gently swing. Sway forward and back. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I just feel the head float, feel the weight and the body sink down. Like it's a lengthening feeling in the spine. Okay, and then we combine the forward and back with the side to side and we get round and round. So if it helps, you can go heel, heel, and then ball of the foot toes, ball of the foot toes. So you're 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 going past the point where the toes and the ball of the foot meet and you're going to either the middle or the back edge of the heel and and what I do is when I go over the toes I kind of push down with my toes a bit to sort of send me round so I'm in, I'm engaging I'm engaging with the foot So the feet are like natural springs. So you gently draw the toes in and then that activates the arches of your foot. So we're going round in a circle, round in a circle. And we go round in the other direction. So just relax the arms. Just let's just tune into the arms while we're doing this. And then imagine you've got a steamed bun under each arm. So ever ever likes to talk about the steamed buns. Okay, and figure eight.
Okay. Very gently turn the waist. <clears throat> so you wanna you wanna keep this bit. Imagine you're sitting down, you're sitting on like a, a high chair, and you're doing this. So while we're doing this, we just want to gently breathe in and out. Okay, so use your Zoom picture to check that you are upright. So when you're when you're turning, you want to be you want to be upright. That's it. So maybe experiment with moving a bit less. Let's try a smaller movement. So you can do a smaller movement. And then once, once you've got that established, you can play around with the volumes. So you can play around with the sizes, you can play around with the speeds. Um, so try a bit of a bigger version again. And just, you're, you're loosening the arms but you're also connecting through the body so i they call these the loosening exercises but over the years i've been uh, practicing them i find that they just help me connect so i don't i don't know if loosening is really the correct term really Seat down. So it's like we're sat on a high chair. We are all breathing very nice. So while you're doing this, just gently breathe in, gently breathe out. Relaxing, letting go. Letting go in the muscles. <clears throat> so when you are practicing this at home, uh, the recommended time for this particular exercise, you want to do a minimum, if you can, of 20 minutes. It just takes that long to really get into something.
and we are all breathing very good. So breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And then slowly come to a natural pause. Ah. Okay, take a slightly wider start, just slightly. And we'll do the do the one, um, we'll do Mike's exercise. So um you turn the foot in, you transfer the weight, you turn the foot out, you turn the foot in. You transfer the weight, you turn the foot out. And you want to watch, you, you want to watch, if I just lift up my, uh, let me just lift up my trouser legs. You want to make sure the knee is in line with the toes because that is much better for your knee health. So we want to use the muscles either side of the knee equally. Yeah, it's almost it's almost that time of year where I, I wear shorts for the rest of the um but uh so you turn the foot in, you transfer the weight, you turn the foot out, and that opens the hip. That opens this hip, then you close the hip, you transfer the weight, you open, and the knees in line with the toes. Knees are in line with the toes. So it's, I don't always, uh, this exercise, I only do uh, kind of improvers and above just because you need a certain amount of body awareness to tell whether your knee is in line or not. Very good. And then, and then we do this. There we go. So you go a bit quicker. Once you've got the, once you've got the knee safety established, then you can, that's it. And just let the arm swing. So the arms are just hanging there and the arms are being moved around by the momentum generated through the feet and the waist. And then allow the arms to raise up and let you. Nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed. That's very good. Fantastic. Okay, shake out. I'll just take my... Check your posture again. I'll just do the bounce. So bounce, 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 bounce. We're just bouncing.
Well, we're bouncing. We're breathing. Breathing in. Breathing out. Very good. So you want to really let go of the muscles either side of the spine. You want to let go of the muscles. You want to focus on your posture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's quite good. It's it's a nice one, this. And then shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. So the shaking, I come a bit closer. So when, you, when you're doing the shaking, you want to do the whole of the body. You want to use the whole of the body. So I'm, I'm, I'm shaking the whole of my body. Like you're like really excited about something. You know, maybe there's going to be some cake or something. You know, it's just, ooh. <laughs> It's good. And it's very good. It's another way, uh, like the loosening exercises, it's very good for the connecting, connecting through the body. But also, it's really good for the, um, um, if you ever get into the punching, you know, uh, striking, that, that, and the things like that, cool. the um, applications. Uh, so let's do the uh, knees. So the knees forward and back slowly and then fast and then you, it kind of vibrates through the body i really like the shaking i've got really into um karen and eva they spent like a whole they went all the way to china to learn with a, a shaking bouncing master there was a, a tai chi uh Chuan practitioner who specialized in in doing all the shaking and they, they spent a whole, I think they spent a whole weekend just shaking for the entire week. They felt great. So, and then the hips, side, side, very slowly. Side, 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 side. Then you speed up, speed up, speed up. And it kind of vibrates. And then the ribs, focus on the ribs. Focus on the shoulders, 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 then whole body, whole body shaking, whole body shaking, and then you come up, 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 up. Keep the shake going, keep the shake going, keep the shake going, stretch, release. Ah. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. So if you've got something, make sure uh, if you're doing this exercise, so this is one I've learned from Eva, you take the things out of your pockets because, ow, you know, I've done that. So don't do that. <laughs> so remove any items that are sticky, spiky or whatever out of your pockets. <laughs> and then you can do this shaking exercise very safely. And it's all good. So we keep the shake going, keep the shake going. We're going, ah, da, 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 da. Up, 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 yeah, nice, and the shoulders, oh, that's so good, that's so good, stretch, release, posture check, and we do our final one, so we, um, when I've done this with Eva, she always does it three times, three times, the shaking and going up with the arms exercise, And then up, 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 up. So keep the rhythm going, keep the rhythm going. Feel it right to the fingertips, right to the fingertips. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And stretch and release. 
Oh, that's good. Okay, we're going to whiz through the loosening exercise. Oh, my goodness me. We're going to whiz through the loosening exercises. Ah, it's one of those classes, isn't it? Okay, sorry about that. View viewers at home, sorry about that. We're just, just, just go with it. Just go with it. So, T shape. And then W shape. So you twizzle around the elbow joint and get a nice open feeling in the chest. Nice open feeling in the chest. And the palms are up. Palms are up. That's it. I'll come a bit closer. So it's like this. And you get the arms drop down. So you want to do the gravity thing. The arms drop down. And then this. This just open and soft feeling. So these are all the other loosening exercises that I've learned. Uh, mostly from uh, Master Chung in Master Chung in um, uh, Essex. He he was um, and also Andrew Heckett um, in Philadelphia. So really, really good. I love the loosening. Four, three, two, one. Okay, the next one. This is the this is the body mechanics. So we transfer, we turn away from that. So we're in the weighted leg, but we're turning in the opposite direction of where the weight is going down. So the weight's going here, but the attention and the trunk is turning to there, to that corner. Then you transfer the weight and then you turn facing that corner. So the hips and the shoulders facing the corner, the weight is sinking through the leg. So we just do that. If it helps, you can have a slightly wider stance and then that will give you, you can really feel uh, the movement. So it's maybe about 70, 30. When Master Chung uh, taught this to me, he was doing 90, 10. So he could he'd make you lift the foot up off of the floor to check that you'd really got your weight you would really got your weight in. But that after about a few goes at that, it starts getting a bit character building. So just, just make sure there's more weight and less weight. More weight, less weight going through the leg. That's it. And then we do this. We go to the T-shape and then we drop the arms and we fold. We come up, drop the arms and fold. And you want very soft, very soft movements. And then we speed up. So we use the momentum. We get, that's it. That's very nice, everybody. Very good. So there's a, a now Master Chung says it doesn't go up and down. It shouldn't go up and down. He When he used to do it, Master Chung, he used to do it very smooth. Whereas when I do it, I kind of go up and down a bit, but just, you know. You got to start somewhere, but he was very smooth, and 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 you couldn't couldn't see. You just see this lovely smooth movement. So that's what you want to um, cultivate and aim towards achieving. So it's just... so we're breathing in and out, and then eventually it makes its own rhythm. So I love the loosening exercises. I think they're great, really good. So it's a good way. If you can't remember any of the form, just do all your loosening. 
And and if you do it slowly, yeah, try it out slowly, it almost it becomes like a Tai Chi form in itself. So you're just feeling, feeling. And all of the loosening exercises keep going. When I, when I did some of the loosening exercises with Barry McGinley in London, he, he could do applications of them. He could do like uh, self-defense applications just doing the loosening exercises. It was really amazing. So... So we're all breathing. Keep breathing some more four. Three, two, and one. Nice. And then this one. Ah. So again, when Master Chung uh, did this, you could do it like this with the arms, just like that. And then another way he did, he put one hand on the other and like fire off the other one, and just for a bit, bit extra, bit extra release. Yes. So, and, and, and then you've got bounce going on. So there's, there are other ways of doing this. I did this a completely different way uh, with another teacher who said, oh, what are you doing that for? It's completely wrong. And I said, okay. And then they, we did something else, but I can't remember what that was. <laughs> but this is my interpretation of what I did with Master Chung. Four, three, two, one. Foster check. Don't forget your steamed buns. And then turn the waist. And we just start with this one. So again, you want to keep the sensation of awareness right to the ends of the fingertips. Oh, let go around here. Just, just do that. Do that. And then do that. Okay, now let go around there. Let go around. Ah, magic, yes. So uh, the sensation of awareness right to the ends of the fingers, like they're cat whiskers. So I, 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 am, uh, I, I am going to be cat sitting again on Sunday for, for a week, maybe just under a week. And... Um, she has these amazing whiskers. Well, she's beautiful, Missy. Um, and uh, she has these amazing whiskers that like, because they have lots of muscles and nerves, uh, the cat whiskers. So they can sense a lot of stuff through their whiskers. So these are like the equivalent of a cat whisker. Um, the hands and the feet. There's lots and lots of nerve endings for um, sensory receptors which can give you a lot of information. So just turn the waist. I'll show you that from the diagonal view. So I'm, I'm just allowing the arms first for small movement and then I allow the movement to build and get a bit bigger. And then I'm also keeping a little bit, tiny bit of, of firmness in the hands. 
if, if they're floppy, it kind of does that, but I keep a little bit of mm in the hands. And wobbly. So gently breathe in, gently breathe out. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have some water and then we'll, we'll continue with the loosening theme and hopefully at some point get get around to doing some form. Um, I'd also like to do the rolling, but we haven't got much time to spend too much time on rolling. We we did a roll-a-thon last week and it was fantastic, but then we got hardly anything done at all. Although it looks like we're heading that way again. Never mind. It's all good stuff for the body, for body mechanics, getting your biomechanics right. Um, it's great. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying out a new tea, tea combination. Um, ginger and turmeric and um, lemon tea. It's quite nice. <laughs> Ooh. So... Um, turn your left foot out to the corner somewhere, keeping the uh, gap between the feet, step forward, heel, toe, then turn the back foot in so that your hips and shoulders are square on to the opposite wall. And then we're sinking forward and sinking back. So when you sink back, you still want to keep a bit of a bend in the front knee and you want to make sure that your knee is in line with the toes. Knee in line with the toes. And we're breathing, so just gently breathe in and out. Okay, change sides. So you place your feet very deliberately and intentionally. So you intentionally, you don't do anything without meaning it. <laughs> it's very authentic, Tai Chi. There we go. I went up, ah, ha, ha. And check your posture. So always take the time. We're not in a hurry today. We're not in a hurry today. We're sinking back, sinking forward, sinking back, sinking forward. Very nice. Breathing. So you've got lots of space, lots of room in the body. You're taking all the time you need. So it's a good way of building up with strengthening in your legs, strengthening your legs. So you're moving slowly. It bone loads. Bone loading is a good thing to do. 
And then we sink back. Now we turn away from the front leg. We sink forwards. We turn towards the front leg. We sink, you can put your hand on your, your dantian if that, uh, lower dantian if that helps. So it's like you're shining a light, like you're shining a light. Shine the light, shine the light, shine the light. Very good. That was so wonderful, we're going to do it on the other side. So obviously when you're at home, you can do each of these things for 20 minutes each. Uh, but if you wanted to do that here, we'd need like a five-hour class. And um, i got to go to the post office, so, you know. <laughs> so we just nice and tall. Tall through the head. Yeah, that's it. So this is floating and this is all hanging down. So you get this lovely stretch along the spine. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go sink back, we're gonna turn twice, sink forward, turn twice, sink back, turn twice. You can do it in the other direction as well, but we haven't, haven't really got much time, so we just do this, we just do this. Um, two, I'll show from the side. Two in the front, two in the back. Two in the front, two in the back. Two in the front. Forward and back. So this is like a loosening number two exercise that we did earlier with a bounce, but except this time we're going forward and back through the balance point of the front foot to the balance point of the back foot. And there's the bounce. And we're using our um, arches of the foot. Okay. Try all that little lot on the other side. So we just heel to. So again, placing the feet intentionally. And also when you've placed them, check that you wanted to put them there in the first place, because sometimes you need to adjust a bit. Okay. Huh? Huh? Um, tum, tum. De, de, de. Very nice. So this is a good way of just gently releasing the lower back. So uh, Corel, my teacher Corel, reckoned that all Tai Chi classes should be at least, at least four hours long. But, yeah, maybe like 50 years ago or something, <laughs> when people had more time to do stuff in. Yeah. And then forwards and back, forwards and back. There we go. Very nice, very nice. So we just bounce, 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 bounce. And then for fun, for fun, in, out, in, toes, heel, toes, heel, toes, heel, toes. We're breathing, breathing, breathing. Very good, very good. And then the other foot. So it's not left out. So my, my little nieces, they they were explaining to me the importance of things not being left out. So they'll they take it to quite uh serious levels. Uh so they'll they'll for example cut a grape in half so that neither neither of them are left out. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh goodness.
and relax. Great. So. Okay, just a little bit of rolling, maybe maybe 15 or 20 each. We'll do 20 each. So the rolling, the hips move one direction and the shoulders counterbalance. So you move your hip to the side, to the back, to the side, to the front. So we'll do a couple of trial runs first. And here we go, one. Keep breathing. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. That doesn't seem nearly enough. So in in the next class after this, I'm gonna do the full, I'm gonna do like 150 or something, but let's now start the other direction. Five. And 20. Nice round shape. Polishing the table. One. Two. 
Assume Kim says it's another one that works for counterbalancing. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay, so we, we've been slowly working on this exercise um, from 24 step that's based on the uh, lion plays with a ball one. So it starts here. I'll just, uh, just watch. So it comes like this. So this goes slightly back, this goes forwards. So you've got like this sort of thing. And then you do the zombie bit, you turn, you push out, you gather under and hold the ball, and then you step. Transfer the weight, transfer the weight, transfer the weight. Top hand come back slightly, push this hand forward, and you're staying upright. So we're just getting that, we're just getting at that just so. I'll turn around, do it from the back. Sink, turn, push out, gather around to hold the ball. So you're feeling the weight move, the weight shift. Well, One more time, each side. One more time, each side. Okay. So in, in the form, uh, hang on, I'm, I'm mirroring. Uh-huh, uh-huh, down, 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 down. Like this. Oh. Mm. Fair lady works at Chessel. So it goes like this one. So I'm mirroring two. So you'll be putting your left foot forward, right foot forward, three. Push out, gather under, hold the ball. And it's to the corners to the corners. So I'm going to move that down. We'll just give it a bash. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, I kicked the microphone. Not very good. Let me grab the other. You know, I've got another one of these. They're really good, these things. They're, they're very comfortable. But it wasn't quite as big as the one I got before. Never mind. Okay, so. Going from golden cockerel. Hang on. Ah! Yeah, golden cockerel stands on right leg. Put the foot down. Hold the ball. Step, transfer the weight. Fair lady works at shuttles. Sink back, turn, 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 turn. So we're going to that corner, push out, gather under, hold the ball. 
step. Fair lady works at shuttles. Okay, the short corner, you just turn, push out, gather under, hold the ball, step. That's it. Very good. Very nice. Yeah, it's harder on Zoom, so just give yourselves a break, yeah? Sink back, turn, push out, gather under, hold the ball, and then step. So that's the four cornersy bit. That's not bad at all, considering we're like tiny little matchstick people. We look like something out of a Lowry painting. And it's really hard to do anything. And then I, I'm also mirroring, so my brain's kind of melting at the same time. It's fine. Um, yeah. So the footwork, like this, like this. So always like a look where you're about to go next, and that helps. And you sink back and turn. I'm going over there. It's like, yeah, very good. And then, okay, we've got, we've got a little bit of time. Let's go from, we'll go to grasp the tiger's ears. So have your right foot in rooster stance. So I'm mirroring. Then you put, make a fist, come down. And then over in a nice, grasp the tiger's ears. So it's a tiger, not a kitten, it's a tiger. Grasp the tiger's ears. Now open the hands, turn, push out, gather around to hold the ball. So you're facing towards the corner, then you raise the knee, turn the knee to the side, kick with left leg, come back. Down. Now, those of you that have done the form and can do the fully crouchy downy thing, that's fine. One, two, three. I'm doing the four, five, six, seven. Golden cockerel stands on left leg. One. Now, when I'm practicing this at home, I do I do the bigger version of this. Two, three. Four, five, twizzle, six, seven. Golden cockerel stands on left leg. Then fair lady works at shuttles. And one. And you sit back and turn. Push out, gather under, hold the ball. Two. Turn, short corner, short corner. Three, and then sink, turn, push out, gather under, hold the ball, four. So if, hopefully next week I won't be as long-winded before we start and we'll be able to actually do a lot more Tai Chi, but never mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, we need a four hour class really. It'd be much better. Wow, well, well. Tai Chi symbol.
Plum Blossom falls left and right. So next time you see the blossom, you can now join in. Oh, okay, last tree, last tree. So I'm moving my weight, moving my weight. Fantastic. Okay, embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. And then rub the hands together, polishing the face. Rub the hands together, give the lower back a rub. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain, to the mountain. Like this with the right hand, left hand over the top, bring the feet together and back. Right, awesome. I'll just get my specs. Well, well done. That was that was a nice session. Once once I got going. So yeah. Okay.